Hey there Aquarius and welcome to your weekly reading for the week of November 19th through the 25th of 2020. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. So please keep in mind that this, is, that this is a general reading so please take it as it resonates and leave what doesn't. Also this could be talking to a cross watcher here or you could be the cross watcher for an Aquarius so again keep in mind that these readings can be interchangeable. Yes um, and yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I do have a storm going. Um, it's raining a bit. So, uh, and there's a little bit of thunder. So hopefully that's not too distracting for you guys. Yeah. All right, Aquarius. Let's just get into this here and see what we've got for your week. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. <clears throat> Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Aquarians at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the week of November 19th through the 25th of 2020. Thank you so very much, Spirit. All right, Aquarius, let's get into this here. Let's see what we've got for your week five shuffles. Yeah, one. Two, three, and my Aquarians here, four, and five. All right, Aquarius, so what's going on for your week here for my Aquarians? Oh, angel of strength and woo! All right, ooh, yes, Aquarius. Okay, so check it out, y'all. Y'all are either getting the strength to walk away or you have the strength to walk away or you need it. And I feel like um, for some of you, your guides are, your angels, your guides, whatnot, whatever, are really pushing you to walk away from a certain situation here, from some sort of love relationship or something like that. All right, let's see what's crowning you this week. Five shuffles. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, Aquarius. So what's crowning you this week? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's crowning you? You have taking risks and wisdom. All right. So here's the thing that I'm picking up on so far for you, Aquarius. Some of you are involved in a relationship that is extremely toxic and um, very controlling. Uh, I'm hearing mind control, a lot of mental manipulation, emotional manipulation, and you're finally either getting the strength to walk away or you're, you're, you're needing to gain that strength. Someone, I'm hearing someone saying, how dare you walk away from me? And I don't know, I mean, this could be a toxic masculine, this could be a toxic feminine, it doesn't matter. But now there could be some situations in which some of you guys are maybe somewhat uh, codependent on this individual that you're with, whether that be um, financially or emotionally. And so that's where taking the risk comes in for you. But to be quite honest, there's a, there's a great deal of wisdom involved in making this decision to walk away from this relationship. Whether that be you, you're getting, you're gaining the wisdom from like a reader like, or like myself or somebody that you really cherish or someone whose opinion you really, um, you, you, you really respect their opinion or their point of view. Or you've learned enough in this relationship to say, okay, it's time to go, right? Let's look at what's grounding you or what your driving force is this week. One. Two. Three. 
two. Three. And four. All right, Aquarius. So what is your grounding force this week? What's driving you this week? The eternal light of love. It's, it's very interesting because I believe Virgo got that card as well. Or was it Gemini? I don't remember. But this card came out today for so another sign as well for this week. This is your driving force. This is your ground. I think it actually might have been Gemini. Um, air signs. Okay. Uh, but here's the thing. What's driving you? What's your driving force this week, Aquarius? Love. True, real, true love, all encompassing love. Okay. That's the real driving force here. The, the unconditional love that the universe holds for all of us. It's like you've connected into that. You've tapped into that somehow. And that's opening your eyes, providing you with a pathway, providing you with a doorway to move forward, providing you with a way to manifest the magician here, the fool, the 10 of cups. Yeah, dude. This is beautiful, Aquarius. Nine of Wands to the Two of Pentacles. So yeah, you've been really fighting this for a while. You've been holding on. You've been hanging on. You've been trying to keep the balance. I'm even picking up that some of you have been trying to make an exit plan, an exit strategy to get out of this relationship. This could have been a really abusive relationship. And that could be some of where the, the, the taking the risk aspect comes into play here. You do have the Ten of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so, so this really could have been... Uh, a, a very abusive relationship for some of you, whether that's just uh, uh, mentally or emotionally um, manipulative. I really hope it's not physically abusive, but that's anything is possible. So, okay. Um, but taking the risk here could be trying to leave. All right. But then you have the 10 of cups here with the wheel of fortune and the world at the bottom of the deck with the queen of swords. Yeah. But see, you're making, you're making the, ex you're making the right decision for yourself. Okay, Aquarius, the Wheel of Fortune, the World, and the Queen of Swords with Judgment and the Ace of fucking Cups. You better get on with Justice. Yeah, Four of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. You, yes, Four of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. You've really been... You've really been... Some of you have really been contemplating this. Building up your strength to walk away. Okay? Making your exit plan. Making your exit strategy. Um... You're being called, and you're doing this because you're being called to love yourself more. The, uh, the uh, judgment, okay? Judgment to the Ace of Cups. And that's bringing great justice in for you. This could, some, for some of you, you could be married and this could end in divorce. This could be that divorce because right there you go. You have justice, but then you also have the Queen of Swords, which is the divorcee, all right? But some of you have been really focused on how do you provide this new opportunity for yourself? How do you start over? Four of Swords to the Ace of Pentacles, King of Wands, waiting for your time to strike seven of cups also though i feel like this king of wands is that abusive partner that you're trying to get away from seven of cups smoke and mirrors to the tower and the queen of pentacles because you know your worth now aquarius i love this okay i'm gonna leave this here and i am going to we're gonna go a little bit deeper into this aquarius we're gonna look at uh we're going to go deeper into the story for you or we're potentially going to look at some timelines you need to be aware of. Um, but we're going to do all of that over on Patreon. Yeah. Patreon.com slash Divine Conversations. I'm sorry. I'm watching my cat try and like curl up into this one little space. Orion, you are a riot. Anyway, sorry. Patreon.com slash Divine Conversations. Yes, the link can be found in the description box below. But before we move over there, I want to get a closing message for the first half of this reading. We're going to get that Oracle guidance from the Indigo or Angels Oracle deck. Yeah, three shuffles for you, Aquarius. One. Two. All right, Aquarius, let's get this closing message for the first half of this reading here. Make a wish.
Make a wish. The universe will provide it to you. Happiness abounds. You, are, you have the right to be happy. You have the right to want to be happy. So make a wish, Aquarius. And let the universe, watch the universe deliver. Okay? I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye. <laughs>